What's the what's the biggest thing you learned just this off season? Uh, I mean, as far as getting in trouble, or are you talking? Well, about? I mean, just in general. I mean, you, you you had a season under your belt, and now there's big expectations out of you this year. Usually, a team goes as his point guard goes. So I'm just curious what the biggest thing maybe you feel, feel you learned is. Uh, I really, I really learned a lot. Uh, being around Coach Wilson, uh, a lot of discipline, discipline, a lot of you know, I got to teach the young guys what, uh, what what the right things to do on the court for to, to stay on the court, honestly. Nice to meet you. Feel like you grew last year. Late, late. Uh, honestly, I just locked in. Uh, I listened to coach. Uh, watched a lot of film. Uh, worked out. Worked out in the morning before the games. Uh, I, I just. I just changed my whole mindset at the end of the, at the end of the year. How much? I mean, just how much did your relationship with coach Paul evolve? Essentially, that, that, that's probably um, I, I would imagine sort of the most difficult and also the most important relationship because the point guard's got to be an extension of the coach in so many ways. And he's bringing this offense from the NBA and all the layers and wrinkles. Just how did that relationship evolve across the course of last season? Um, so it was big, you know. Uh, with me losing a, a couple family members, uh, it helped actually helped a lot with, uh, with Coach being in my ear a lot. Uh, actually, it actually get, let me get closer to Coach because uh, I wasn't with my family. So I mean, he was my family being here. So I mean, that, that honestly helped a lot. It seemed like late in the season you guys changed some things offensively, particularly there in the Big Ten tournament and in the NCAA tournament. Do you see kind of any changes taking place like to, to kind of make that the, the pick and roll specifically with you and Chase more uh, of a staple this year? Oh, well, I mean, I mean, I would think I would say be a whole staple, but I mean, we got other guards on the team that can, they can take the ball off the dribble. Uh, we're standing right here across from me, uh, you know, and we got other we got a couple other couple dudes that, that have have, uh, have excelled, excelled in, in, in that position as well. So I mean, it won't, it won't be just me coming on ball screen for Chase, I and mean, it'll be a whole, a whole team. Okay, but I mean, do you feel like you guys found something with that specifically late in the season that kind of led to some success offensively? Yeah, yeah, we honestly, honestly did. Uh, I mean, it was just like, uh, I get past my man, and you come set this screen, and you have let enough to get the ball. So, I Why mean, do you think maybe it took so long for you guys to figure that out? Uh, I mean, and honestly, didn't. Uh, we, honestly, we were just doing it in practice, and, and I don't know why it, it took so long to get in the game, but, you know, hey, it just, I'm glad it came along. So, How important was it for you guys to get that taste of just being in the tournament? You know, bringing you into this year. Yeah, now you know what it's like to be there. Can you use that as a, as a, the experience to, to maybe propel you even further this year? Yeah, I mean, just like Coach says, uh, it's, it's the beginning of our culture. Uh, it's another. We got we got to take more steps of getting that, of getting to the top. So, I mean, we have been working hard this summer. So, I mean, we just can't wait to be on the floor. I guess without asking for the playbook. But, um, How does it evolve from here, and, and in particular because you were able to find that comfort level, running a lot of pick and roll heavy stuff, and everything that kind of branched out from that in the last month or so of last season? How much more did that open up for you guys this off season? When you are working with Moses, the only one now we're able to do this. Now the offense can evolve into this, etc. Uh, a lot has changed. Honestly, we got different, different players, not with just me. Uh, I would say it, it has evolved, honestly, because coaches have been pulling stuff out. I, I would say I ain't gonna say it, but I just but uh, he has been pulling a lot, a lot of stuff. He's writing up a lot of plays, and, and it's, it's honestly a lot of, a lot of just a lot of detail. You got to pay attention to. What have you learned about yourself in the last six, six eight months? You know, after you went to the uh, just, just in, in the, I, I seem like I just hit a big wall, big, big fat wall. You know, I thought my, my career was over, honestly. Uh, but you know, I, I, I got my second chance. You know, I, now I'm mad at myself for doing something like that. But I mean, I, I'm glad. I'm glad God gave me a second chance to come back and play and play what I do, what I, what I love to do. So, Mike, should he take away your car? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that conversation? Uh, I mean, it was just like, you know, if you want to play here, you, you, you didn't have no car, you go somewhere else, honestly. But, I mean, I don't remember how that conversation went, but, you know, he, I think he had a conversation with my parents. My parents. They they actually said like agreed upon it, so I agreed upon it too, you know. Because I really didn't care about honestly about my car. It was just it was I, I love to play basketball. That's when I when I came here to do it. I came here to get education. That's the main goal. How do you feel about the expectations this year? I mean, there's I've seen one preseason poll that had you guys as high as six. That's a pretty big jump from where you were last year. How do you kind of manage that? And what do you just overall? What's your excitement level for having those expectations? Uh, you know, I haven't. I would say I haven't, I haven't uh, I honestly looked. I, I, I've seen it a couple of times, but you know, I try to look at it a lot because I never honestly play being the top, like the, 
like the top team coming out of out of the, out of the conference. Uh, I would I would say so. Uh, but I mean, it's just different. I just trying to look at it, and, and, and all our coaches honestly preach to us like, don't look at that stuff. The, 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 like everybody, everybody. Uh, I would say last year, uh, being being an example, of Michigan. Yeah, you know, they were supposed to be number one coming out of it, and then they had they had their their their, their issues on their team. So I mean, you just can't look at, look at just being number one expectation. You gotta just play.